Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you all 17 of my luxury handbags in my luxury handbag collection. Now, if you are a contemporary designer fan, then don't worry, I will have a contemporary designer handbag collection video coming soon. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and we usually talk about all things luxury or handbag related. Today's video is no exception because I'm gonna be sharing with you all of my luxury handbags. Starting out with YSL, I have three YSL handbags in my luxury handbag collection. This is the YSL Small Lulu in the color Vintage Blanc, which I think is absolutely stunning. Now this is a bag that I have tried to sell several times. Nobody's taking the bait. I just don't use it. I don't gravitate towards it. And it's mainly because it doesn't have a top handle. And it's a little bit on the bulky side for me personally to use as a crossbody bag. Now I'm not typically a shoulder bag girl, and that is why this bag doesn't really work out for me and my collection very well. But it's a beautiful bag. It holds all of your everyday essentials. It's very, very functional. And although it doesn't work out for me, I do feel like this is a classic style that's going to work out for most people. The next YSL bag in my collection is my YSL Lou bag, also known as the YSL camera bag. This bag typically comes in different materials. Most often it comes in a leather in different shades and variations. I ended up going with a seasonal piece with this canvas material in the black and white stripes. I really love to wear this with an all black outfit or sometimes even just a linen outfit. It's really cute, but I have a hard time styling it because of the stripes. Although I do feel like it would go really cute with my outfit today. It's just one of those bags that I don't gravitate towards too often. Very similar to the YSL Lulu bag. This bag doesn't have a top handle and I really need a top handle on my bags these days in order for them to be an essential in my collection. Now they did recently re-release this bag and it has a back pocket on the back. So I do think that this is a very good bag. It's a very practical bag, especially if you're a crossbody girl. It's very casual and it's very easy to use. My final YSL bag is one of my favorite bags in my entire collection, not just my YSL bags. This is the YSL College bag. As I've been mentioning, the top handle is really, really essential to me. So the fact that this bag has a top handle, it really, really just makes it a little bit more elevated in my opinion. It also has a back pocket, which makes it really easy to use. Now this is the medium college bag as the name states, but it is a small bag in my personal opinion. You can fit all of your everyday essentials in here, including sunglasses and a phone, a wallet or a key pouch, a wallet and a key pouch, and maybe another little small pouch. It fits everything that I personally need. So although it's a small bag, I think it's stunning. I think it's worth every single penny, and I absolutely love this bag. I have five Bottega Veneta bags in my personal collection. Bottega Veneta is one of those fashion houses that I really, really enjoy. I love the fact that they don't have any logos on them, but I feel like I have enough of the woven design. I'm hoping that they'll come out with some designs that are a little bit more of a smooth leather. The first bag in my collection is this pouch bag here. I believe I got this in 2021 for Christmas. It is absolutely stunning. For me personally, this is more of a date night bag because it doesn't have the straps, but this is the perfect clutch. Again, in my personal opinion, some people like their clutches to be really small. I like the fact that this looks chic. It looks like it is, you know, just a chic design, but it's something that's gonna hold all of your essentials. You're not gonna have to skimp out on anything. You're gonna be able to carry everything with you and still keep that elevated look of a clutch. Next up is my Bottega Veneta Jody bag in the color travertine in the size small. So as you guys can see, the size small is not small whatsoever. They do have a candy size, then they have the mini size, then they have the teen size, which I really, really like as well. Then they have the small size, which is this size here, and they used to have a medium size and a maxi size. So the medium size was very large, but the maxi size almost wrapped around your whole body. So cool, not for me, but it is so cool looking. This is one of my favorite bags in my entire collection. 
I love this. I love the color of it. I love the slouchiness of it. I love the hobo design. It is a shoulder bag or a top handle bag. I think it's really, really chic. And I love the fact that, again, I don't have to miss out on any of my items. I can throw everything I need inside of here and it's still gonna give me that slouchy chic look that I really, really enjoy. Next up is my padded cassette with chain. I got this last year for my birthday and I regret to admit that I've only used it a handful of times. This is one of those bags that I tried on several times in store and something kept pulling me back from buying it. Well, that something, something is the fact that it is extremely heavy. Well, I ended up selling my Pochette Matisse and I decided let's finally take the plunge and let's order this bag on Fashion File. So I got it for about half price. I think it's a beautiful bag. I think it's stunning, but it's an occasion bag. It's not something that I can wear on the everyday basis for a couple of reasons. One, I mostly dress in cool undertones. So the gold and this warm cream color don't really work with my wardrobe. And two, it's just not a practical bag. It's very heavy, it carries very little, and I opted for suede, which of course is a delicate material. So overall, this wasn't a good purchase for me, but it's one of those mistakes that I felt like I had to make. Since I just shared with you guys my other padded cassette bag, I wanted to share with you this little beauty. Now this one is not a mistake. It is one of my favorite bags in my collection. I love the color of this bag. It's very lightweight. It doesn't hold very much, which could be a downfall. But other than that, I really can't think of any cons. It's nice and squishy. I love the padded cassette design. And I love the fact that it doesn't have any logos on here, but it's still a pop of color and it adds a little bit of something extra to every single one of my outfits. My final and last Bottega Veneta bag in my current collection is a bag that I absolutely love the style of, but I don't love the color I chose. Now this is one of those things where I should have been patient and I should have just held off on buying the bag and waited until they had a color in their store that I wanted, but I ended up with the Bottega Veneta Arco bag in the color Tangerine. Now I bought this bag because I hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and I really wanted to celebrate and I wanted to celebrate that day. Had I been patient and waited for this in one of the tan colors, like the almond color, I would have enjoyed this bag quite a bit more. Now this bag is a bag that they no longer sell on their website and unfortunately, because of the color I chose, it is a bag that not a lot of people are gonna be interested in. So I don't think that this is a bag that I'll ever sell. It'll probably remain in my collection. It's just not gonna be a bag that I use that often. Although I do love the style, as I mentioned, it fits all of your everyday essentials. It's very comfortable under your arm. You can also wear it top handle or you can just hold it down below. I think it's really, really cute. I just simply went for the wrong color. Next up is my Louis Vuitton collection. I have six bags to share with you, and this is my biggest grouping of a collection. But before I get into my Louis Vuitton collection, if you guys are enjoying this video, if you are having fun, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. First up is my Louis Vuitton Damier Azure print um, crochet bag. This is the only bag in my collection that I have in the Damier Azure canvas. I absolutely love Damiazer, especially in the summer months. It is absolutely stunning. I have tied a little twilly on it. It is from Silk Philosophy. Silk Philosophy has beautiful twillies. They're about $40, so if you don't wanna pr pay the hefty price tag of a luxury twilly, I do recommend them, and I will have them linked down below for you guys. This is the perfect crossbody bag, in my personal opinion. Again, it has that top handle that I love. It's the perfect size. It fits all of my everyday essentials in here without any fuss. It's very easy for me to fit everything I need inside of here. The crossbody strap for me is a good height, but it's not adjustable. You can find adjustable straps on Amazon, which I will link down below for you guys as well. So if you are interested in this bag and the only thing holding you back is the fact that it doesn't have an adjustable strap, I've got you covered. I'm gonna have the straps linked down below for you guys. They retail for under $50 and they match beautifully with this bag. Next up is my Louis Vuitton utility bag. This is a bag that I purchased this year, pre-loved. I got it for a really good deal. I believe I paid um, $1,000 less than retail. This is a bag that you have to buy pre-loved. They don't sell it anymore. It does come with a canvas strap, 
which I really like because I don't own any other bags with a canvas strap. It also comes with this little pouch here. Because of the shape of the pouch, you can't really fit anything inside of there, so it's kind of useless. But I do like the look of it on, um, it just gives that utilitarian vibe. Now this bag is kind of fussy. It, the zipper is a pain in the butt. You can't fit a lot inside of here, but you can utilize these little pouches. So what I usually do is I'll put my headache medicine, my lip products, my perfume in one, and then in the other one, I will put eyeglass cleaner, little hand sanitizer wipes, and my headphones in the other. So there's quite a bit that can fit inside of here. Then in the back, I will just put my cell phone and anything else that I might need, my sunglasses usually, and that's all that I carry inside of this bag. I really like this bag. I'm glad I have it in my collection. I don't have anything else like it. It's one of those bags that I only use when I'm kind of dressed down, but I really like it for that purpose. Next up is my newest luxury bag to my luxury handbag collection and my last luxury purchase of 2023. Now I say it that way because I have actually two or three different contemporary designer unboxings to share with you guys, which is why I decided to break this video up because I haven't unboxed those bags yet to share with you. But this is my last unboxing of 2023. This is my birthday bag. My birthday was September 27th. And I got this for myself as a birthday gift. I absolutely love this cool tone canvas. It's so different than anything else that I have from Louis Vuitton. My favorite color is green, so I love the Parisian street sign, but if you are not a fan, you can just turn it around and carry it this way. Now, because this is a newer bag to my collection, I don't have too many pros and cons to share with you. It doesn't come with an adjustable strap, but that brand that I was telling you guys about earlier, it's D-G-A-Z. They do have a strap that works well with this bag as well. It does have the pre-tanned Vaquetta leather. It holds all of my essentials, and it is a comfortable fit for me at five foot six, but I know that the strap can be a little bit long for some people, especially if you're very small and petite. So this bag is my newest bag to my collection and I'm really, really enjoying her so far. Next up is my Louis Vuitton mini Dauphine bag. This is another bag that I really, really enjoy. She is small, she is mini. You have to Tetris your stuff inside of there. But other than that, I can't really think of too many cons. I really enjoy this bag. I'm not a fan of warm tones, but there's something about this particular combination that I really, really enjoy. I love this lock right here. In fact, I am considering getting the belt that matches this. I just haven't bit the bullet yet because they're pretty expensive. I just don't have anything negative to say about this bag. It dresses up all of my outfits. It does come with a non-adjustable strap. It only has the two adjustments, so I guess it's somewhat adjustable, where you can wear it as a short shoulder or you can wear it cross body. I typically wear this as a cross body bag and I think it is absolutely stunning. I like to wear this with browns and blacks. I feel like it just dresses up any outfit. Next up is my first ever luxury purchase. My husband got me this for our one year wedding anniversary. This is one of those bags that I feel like is very, very underrated. Now it is a bag that I don't use quite as often. It's mostly used in the winter months because it is a larger-ish bag. It's also a bag that is mostly a shoulder bag. And as I mentioned, I'm not a shoulder bag girl these days. I really like a top handle or cross body. But this bag, it holds everything you could possibly need, plus more. It's very, very roomy inside. It is stunning. I love the black with the gold. I feel like it's a very elevated bag in my collection. As I mentioned, I mostly carry this as a shoulder bag because it does not have adjustable strap. It has these beautiful gold chain details, but it's not adjustable. And I'm five foot six, as I've mentioned several times now, and it's very long on me, so I can only imagine how long it is on somebody that's shorter than I am. Other than the strap and the fact that it's not adjustable, this bag doesn't really have very many cons in my opinion. It retails for around $2,600, which I feel like is a very good price point. If you don't like the canvas, you can also get it in leather. And as I mentioned, I just feel like it's very, very underrated. It's one of my favorite bags in my collection. It's a go-to whenever I don't know what I'm going to wear or if I need to carry more items. Last but definitely not least is my Speedy B25 in the Damier bin. Almost said Damier Zer, not Damier Zer, it is Damier bin. 
canvas you guys i love this bag i got it at the very beginning of this year it's the first bag that i purchased in 2023 and if you guys watch my what bags i used most for the last couple of months i do it by every other month this bag is consistently in those videos because i just love it i love the fact that you can put an organizer in here and it gives it a little bit more structure or you can take the organizer out and it makes it extremely slouchy this is a bag that I gravitate towards for work a lot, but now that bigger bags are coming, becoming more popular, I have been definitely grabbing this and using it a lot for the weekend as well. I think it would go beautifully with the outfit that I have on today. And then I just added this little charm here for decoration. I got it from Amazon. I believe it was a pack of two for like 16 bucks. Very, very inexpensive. The Speedy B25, it does come with an adjustable strap that actually has three different parts to it. So you can take the middle part out and carry it as a short shoulder bag, or you can leave the middle part in and carry it as a crossbody bag. You can also carry it as a top handle or a long shoulder. So this bag is very, very versatile. It's one of the bags that I would recommend most out of my entire collection. I only have three bags left to share with you guys, and this is going to be my miscellaneous. All three of these bags are from different companies, different brands or fashion houses, but they're three bags that I absolutely love. Starting out with the Valentino Rock Stud collection. This is in the medium size bag. I used to own the Valentino Roman Stud in the size large as well, and it was in a beautiful chestnut brown color, but I felt like it was a little bit too warm for my wardrobe, and it was kind of in that awkward size. It wasn't a big bag and it wasn't a small bag, so I do predict that later on I will probably add another Roman stud to my collection at some point. I'm not in a hurry for that, but it is something that I miss having in my collection. I just wish I would have went with a different size and maybe a different color, but I am finding that I am missing having a simple plain brown bag in my collection. But back to this one, this is one of my first bags I ever added to my collection. I got it for 40% off and I still love it. I don't use the studs as much as I used to, but it is just a beautiful bag. It's classic, it's a classic style. It comes with a chain strap, but I opted to buy an additional strap, which is like a thicker guitar strap. And I absolutely love wearing it with a guitar strap so much more than the chain strap. The chain strap is not adjustable, but it is absolutely beautiful. And you can double it up and wear it as a shoulder bag as well. Um, it also can be worn as a top handle with this top handle here and you can take this off as well if you don't like the look of this. As I mentioned, to me this is a classic bag and a classic style and a classic color and therefore I feel like it's going to be something that's forever in my wardrobe. Next up is my Gucci Super Mini Dionysus. My husband got me this bag last year for my birthday and I absolutely love the color of this bag. I love the de design of this bag. Now I don't use it quite as often as I thought that I would and it's simply for the fact that it doesn't fit very much. This is kind of a wallet on, wallet on chain size bag, but you can fit a card holder, a key pouch, and a lippy inside of here very, very easily. So that's usually what I carry inside of here. It does come with a non-adjustable, beautiful vintage silver chain, which looks absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, this is another bag that the chain is not adjustable. It does hit me at a really good height, so it's not necessarily a con for me, but it might be a con for other people. The only thing that I would possibly change about this bag is the size. I wish I would have went for the mini instead of the super mini. The mini is more of a square though, and I really like the classic style of the rectangle. This is a bag that I actually plan on using for my birthday dinner, which is this Saturday, the 30th, and I think that I am going to be really excited about taking this bag out for the first time in quite a while. All right, guys, I have saved the best for last. I'm sure that all of us have those dream bags in our in our mind that we just want to add to our collection someday. For a lot of people, that's either Chanel or Hermes, but for me, that was Dior. And you guys, I was able to add my dream bag to my collection this year, and that is my beautiful Lady Dior in the small size or the My ABC Dior. I have mine in the color ethere ethereal green. I think it is absolutely stunning. It never shows up true on camera, so if it's not showing up true color on camera right now, I will try to pop up a photo for you guys. 
For me, this is a bag that is just classic. I like to wear it a lot with my dresses, but I also wear it dressed down. If I wear it dressy, I usually carry a top handle. If I wear it dressed down, I will carry it with the strap. This is a bag that I ooh and ah over. I still can't believe I have it in my collection. And any time that I wear this bag, I still get the butterflies. I still get super excited. And that's how you know that it is a good bag and it was a good buy. Yes, it's very expensive. Do I think I'll own another one? No, probably not, especially because this is my perfect color. You guys, this shade of green is absolutely stunning. Anytime I take this bag out, I get compliments on it. And it's just one of those bags, as I mentioned, it's a dream come true for me and I am so excited that I was able to add it to my collection this year. That is all of the bags that I have in my luxury handbag collection for 2023. If you guys aren't subscribed yet and you want to see my 2024 realistic wish list, these are bags that I actually think that I'm going to add to my collection that were much like this. They are in my dream bag kind of list that I have in my head then make sure that you guys are subscribed. I am also going to be doing some contemporary designer unboxings, and I'm going to share with you guys my entire contemporary designer handbag collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, but until next time, bye guys.